Hello guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice. Um, so I have had a highly requested video about how I take my pictures for Etsy and eBay and I keep promising that I will show you guys and so this is the day I'm showing you guys what I do. And this is it. Um, it is not fancy. I don't have a light tent or anything like that so this is what I'm working with. I have a dining room chair. I have some natural light coming in here through my window and then I have a piece of like just a large piece of white card that I get from the dollar store. One piece lasts me a long time. And I have some packing tape here and I just kind of strap it on there and I make sure that it has this curve that you can see here so I have no lines. And then here we go. So I take an item and I position it and this is how I would take my photograph. So I'll be getting different angles. I kind of show you here what I would do. I'd be moving like this. You will note that there, this is not clean. Like <laughs> that sounds gross, right? But it's not clean. There's bends in it. There's, it's all beaten up. But none of that matters because my next step is what's really going to clean up these photographs um, and make them work for specifically my thumbnails for Etsy and eBay. So here's my advice when it comes to photographs. Obviously, you want to get... Um, plenty of detail in there so you want your overall shot that's going to show exactly what the item is uh, i would advise that if you go in and you see a lot of your like the same item as yours and they all have a similar you know this is a pretty standard shot right do something different go in on an angle something that shows off your item just a little bit more um, and then i would also go in nice and close for some detail especially if you have some defects like you're seeing down here i want to go ahead and show that off and make sure that everything is kind of laid on the table for my buyers um, in my experience with vintage items it does not put them off you know the right buyer will be okay with those kinds of defects within reason um, and then obviously you're going to show underneath as well possibly inside Anywho, so let's hop over to my computer and I will go ahead and show you what my next step is. Hello again, guys. Okay, so we're over to my uh, computer now. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and took the photographs that I showed you there with the setup that I went ahead and showed you in the natural light. I didn't do anything else to them. And I have a setup on my phone that it goes straight to my Google Photos Um so what I then do is I go into my Google Photos, I won't show you that in case some personal information is revealed, but I go in and I go ahead and download them to my desktop. Um, it's really quick and easy, it takes them a minute or two to just go ahead and move across and be ready for me. So when I'm taking a lot of photographs, I'm sort of ready to just go straight ahead over to my computer and start editing them. So, for instance, the first thing I'll do is take this one here, this is, you know, a really good standard picture of the piece here. So the very first thing I'll do is I'll go in and I will edit it. And I will make sure that I can get it as straight as possible. Uh, you know, and nothing's perfect, that's okay. Um, if there's some interference or whatever, I may crop it, try and get it nice and even. And I'll tell you why I do that later as well. Um, and then sometimes I will go in and just add a tiny touch of brightness and a tiny touch of contrast as well, just to kind of help that image pop. So this is a pretty good image. It's, you know, nice and light. It stands out. It's very clean. However, I really like it on my Etsy and eBay site to be as uniform as possible, meaning that when you go into my shop, I like to have everything you know like all the, I don't like a lot of different colored backgrounds a lot of different shades of white <laughs> and that can happen really easily depending on your lighting conditions and all this kind of stuff so let me go ahead and show you what I do now um, so let me just show you exactly what I mean by that as well just because I ramble right and I I, <laughs> I assume you know what I mean so when you go into my shop here you'll see that everything for the most part is pretty much uniform it's pretty much a nice clean white consistent background of exactly the same shade occasionally something will pop in check this guy out and this guy that to me sounds out like a sore thumb maybe that's a little obsessive I'm not sure but to me it stands out and that that should potentially be corrected as well um, okay, so I'll show you what I do. So I come over here and this is my kind of secret. Well, it's not a secret because it's a website that's over on the internet. But this is like my my number one tool when it comes to getting the photo quality that I do. Photofuse.com. So what you do is you come on here. You can hook it up to your Etsy store. Um, I personally do not do that. I just, I don't feel like I know enough about the website to to kind of uh, attach it to my store there. Um, but I do use it as a free resource. Like I said, completely free. So I come in here. I'm going to go ahead and add my image. I'm going to work with this one here. And then it is this simple. So over here, the one that says magic, that's going to kind of think for me a little bit. 
So I'll come around here and trace, and you can see it bleeding over the edges there a little bit. Do not worry, it does not have to be an exact science. It's actually better if it's not an exact science. I had a lot of back and forth trying to like go in with the eraser afterwards and get these perfect lines. That is never going to work, and it's going to look really Photoshop. So I'll go ahead and let it creep on that shadow a little bit, and then I will press finish, and I will show you exactly what the photo quality comes out like. It is that easy. Sometimes I will only do this for my thumbnail because I obviously want that to be the strongest image that I have because I'm trying to pull those potential buyers in to check out my listings. Um, and sometimes, if it's easy enough, I will go ahead and uh, do it the whole way. So, you know what? I don't like that very much. I feel like that's looking a little fake there. So what I can do is click on it, go straight back in and edit, and I can just kind of finish off there. Let's see how that looks. Sometimes there's a little bit of playing to do with it. Um, and that's just been trial and error for me with this. But overall, I think the program is pretty darn good for being free and being uh, so quick and easy. So let's see how it does. It just processes for a moment. You can obviously see several here that I've done already. Do -do -do -do. All right, I like that better. That looks way more natural to me. And a bit of shade is fine. I don't want it to look like it's just stamped on the background, you know. That that's okay. So what I'll do is I'll drag that out there. And I have my image. So, my next step is often um when it comes to Etsy, the dimensions of the photograph that you have are sometimes a little bit iffy. I have see people are uh, asking this questions a lot, especially in the uh, in like the Facebook chat and things like that. Um it kind of works with this like this square dimension, but sometimes you have bits cut off. It's a bit difficult. So this is what I do. I take my image there and I come over here to, uh, which one do I use? I use design. I don't pick anything that's on there. I just click on design and it goes ahead and brings me up uh, just a nice standard square. Then I can click on this little butterfly down here. This is overlays, but you can add your own, which is basically add your own image. I'll then take this new one here and because I took the step with photo fuse to go ahead and get this uh, a really standard white flat background it fits in perfectly merges perfectly blends perfectly whatever you want to say with this standard white background on here then what I can do is I can actually reduce the size of my product just a little bit I know there's a line here that's not something that personally bothers me I think that overall it looks better for doing this and then I'll just go ahead and save I'll save. No, don't delete anything. Let's put a random number in. Haha. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take you over to Etsy for a new listing. So I'll go ahead and upload this photograph. You can see it here. I'm looking for Untitled 3. And it fits well. What I may do is go into my little edit button here and I may just go ahead and crop that a little bit so that my item stands out just a little bit more. Just play with it just a touch you know I, I don't want it to be overwhelmed necessarily but I think that that is a pretty good image when it comes to a thumbnail image um, and again it's just going to fit in with the rest of the aesthetic of my overall shop it's going to look very consistent very standard and I think in many ways it's going to you know stand out potentially with a lot of other like items when people do their searches and um, okay and that is literally what I do with my photographs like I said I don't necessarily do this process with every single photograph and um, let me show you what I mean so like if we're looking at for example this and again, you know, this is something I talk about a lot. What I did here is I, I took two separate photographs, front and back of the garment, and then I went through the photo fuse um, process with both of them. So they got, you know, nice standard white backgrounds on both of them. And then I went into um, Pick Monkey, but I actually used something a little bit different. I actually used collage. This is a great free tool as well, as you can see here. So I'll show you what I do. Um, for example, if I took this and this, there are my two images. I have lots of different shapes I can pick from from the side. You just have to go ahead and play with them. Ducks in a row is just nicely measured out for you already. And I can take my images and go ahead and slide them over here. Fantastic. So that gives me the ability to show, you know, lots of different sides of an garment that isn't just limited to the, you know, uh, the five pictures on Etsy. That's a big limitation, especially with vintage items when there's defects. I want to make sure that my buyers see anything that, you know, isn't I ideal on, on the item. I want to share that. So 
that's what I do. Um, I will also mention that sometimes these funny little sizes, you know, you can imagine what I did here with this. Uh, one one side of the jacket on each side there of the square it then is not the ideal shape to go on Etsy again it's this weird rectangular shape so I'll then take that uh, that particular one that I saved and I will come back in here with my standard square and I'll pop it on there so that I have a little bit more breathing room around that um, two-part image there and that will also make for a nice effective thumbnail uh, as you can see here it looks pretty good as a thumbnail and again there's these beautiful details on the front and the back of this particular jacket that I really wanted to show um, right up front that hopefully will catch a buyer's eye now as I flick through you'll see obviously I did a few collages here I did not go into doing like the white backgrounds and all of these detail photographs. I did make sure that they were fairly well lit. I did make sure that there was a nice neutral plain background. I use a cream wall um, and you know it's not phenomenal. I am aware of that but it's not bad at all and honestly I just I need to streamline my listing is really the, the answer for it. You know, I need to be able to list plenty of things in a short amount of time, especially because I'm a little pressed for time uh, quite often. So I just go ahead and make sure that my thumbnail is a standout and as clean as it can be. And the rest of them I just do my best with, essentially. So that is my photo process. I hope that that made sense. Again, photofuse.com, and that's with an F, F-O-T-O-F-U-Z-E. Um, and pickmonkey.com for my collages or my editing down to a perfect size for an Etsy thumbnail. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I really hope that this video uh, showed you most of all that you do not have to necessarily, and by all means do if you want to, but you don't have to invest in expensive photo tents and equipment and things like that, in my opinion. Um, I did. I actually did buy one and all the lights and things like that. And I used it for a week and I just did not feel that the quality of my photographs were really up to par. And perhaps that's to do with the natural lighting that's in my house personally. Um, and I found that I was going back in and editing my thumbnails anyway uh, using PhotoFuse. So why bother, right? <laughs> so um, yes, throw questions down there. Please like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And guys, I hope you have an amazing week. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.